Streams 039 is out, and in this video, we will have a look at the main changes. This release has over 100 PRs from over 10 different contributors. It supports Kubernetes 1.21 and newer. The last tested version is Kubernetes 1.29. Please keep in mind that from the next minor release, we will not support Kubernetes 1.21 and 1.22 anymore, but we will only support Kubernetes 1.23 and newer. We also added support for two new Kafka versions, 3.6.1 and 3.5.2. That means that this release supports all the released Kafka 3.6 and 3.5 versions. A lot of the changes in this release are about some of the feature gates we support. The Stable Connect Identities feature gate moves to GA. That means that it's permanently enabled and cannot be disabled anymore. It also means that all Kafka Connect and MirrorMaker 2 clusters will now use the Strumzy pod sets to manage the pods instead of Kubernetes deployments. If you are not using it yet, then the upgrade will happen automatically after you upgrade a Strumzy cluster operator. Another feature gate which is promoted in this release is the Kafka Node Pools feature gate. This feature gate moves only to the beta stage. That means that it will be enabled by default, but you can still disable it if you want to. It means that you can now use the Kafka node pool resources by default without doing any feature gate changes. But if you are not using the Kafka node pools, there is no impact on your existing Kafka clusters. And finally, the third feature gate changing its level in this release is the unidirectional topic operator feature gate. It moves to beta, so it's also enabled by default, but can be still disabled. If you are not yet familiar with the unidirectional topic operator and want to learn more, we recommend you to check out the blog about it on our website. The upgrade to the unidirectional topic operator will happen automatically after upgrading the Strumzy cluster operator. Once the upgrade is complete, you can delete the internal topics from the old topic operator and unmanage any topics you do not want to manage as Kafka topic custom resources. More details can be found in our documentation. This release brings also many improvements to the craft mode. It now supports rolling updates of the craft controller nodes and it supports managing the craft metadata version using the Kafka custom resource. Also, from Streams 039 on, we support craft cluster upgrades. We encourage everyone to give this a try and let us know if you have any feedback. We have also improved the Connect and MirrorMaker 2 metric examples and the Grafana dashboards. There are, of course, also many other small bug fixes and various dependency updates. And that's it for this release. Thanks for watching and don't forget to star us on GitHub, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel.